Throughout the month of May, we are reminded that foster youth far too often experience traumatic incidences of abuse and neglect and are separated from their homes and siblings. Yet even in the face of these challenges, the resiliency of foster youth remains strong. Recognizing the problem and then trying to come up with a solution. This week, members of Congress hosted, and they heard from, about 40 young adults from all around the country, all formerly in the foster care system. And Congress had plenty of former foster kids to choose from. In the U.S., it's estimated that 400,000 kids are currently in foster care right now. They're oftentimes bounced around from home to home for an average of two years. Of those kids, an estimated 80% leave the foster care system with serious emotional problems thanks to years of uncertainty, neglect, and sometimes abuse. Yeah, there's no denying that the system is broken and, of course, needs to be changed in some way. And one of those young adults trying to make a difference is Marcelina Valenzuela. She's 24 years old from L.A. and just spent time with this week with Representative Karen Bass in Washington, D.C. Thanks so much for coming to talk with us. You know, now that I'm a mom, hearing anything about little kids uh, it just makes me sick. And you had a really rough time in the foster care system. Tell us about that. Right. So um, I spent the total of seven and a half years, but I entered right after birth. Um, I was born drug addicted okay. and um, I came out when I was four, re-entered at 15 and it was, it was really difficult. Is that a common system or a common uh, answer amongst most foster care kids that they're back and forth, up and down, they really never know where they're going? Yeah, totally. Um, you know, average is like about three times in and out of foster care. Really? Right. So. And you have two little sisters and you have custody of them right. so they were involved in all this as well. Exactly. So what was D.C. like when you went there this week? Um, it was great. Um, me and about 50 other youth, we went, um, shadowed different Congress members, and um, I was able to get um, Representative Karen Bass, sure. and she's like already such a great advocate for foster youth, and um, she just showed me around, and we spoke, and it was, it was awesome. And were they receptive to what you were saying, and what do you think you accomplished while you were there? Um, totally. Um, Ms. Bass, you could tell she already knew about some of the issues that were going on, and with the caucus that's going on, um, should we, the whole purpose was to get other representatives sure. um, on board with the new caucus, and um, both, you know, Democratic and Republic, so I, I really feel that they heard us, and we were able to put that face on foster care. Okay. How would you improve the foster care system? Um, so many ways, <laughs> right? Where do I start? Give us the short list here. So, um, I mean, one of the ways I really feel that to focus on prevention instead of, because these, um, these social workers are so overwhelmed with so many caseloads, sure. um, maybe focusing on prevention and also permanency. I think we got, you know, a lot of things in the middle focused on, but I think those two really need them. Um, Are you help. in school right now? Um, no, I took the semester off because I did get my siblings. Um, I'm hoping to get back in next spring. You're working? I am working. So you've got your hands full. I do. We're also hearing that you're going to open up a nonprofit, or you'd love to do that? Yes. Talk to us about that. Um, so I did go through the juvenile justice system, right. and I feel that there's a big need in there, especially with um, men and boys and boys of color coming out of, you know, um, these camps and you know juvenile halls and somewhere where we could help direct them you know and help them with the future so they don't have to go back to their same neighborhoods and go back to the same crimes because they feel like they have no other outlet so that's my goal I really um, want to work with probation and specifically boys yeah. uh, what would you tell people who might be considering becoming a foster parent um, it's, Obviously, there probably needs to be more people that yes. are willing to do that out there. Um, we really need foster parents, and we need not just foster parents, but like committed people that want to stick in a person's lives. And maybe you know, being a foster parent is too much of of um, a commitment. But you know, there's a lot of people that could just dedicate some time and you know, um, invest in a youth. And if you know that you know they they need someone in their life that is on their side, you know, cheering for them, like. I think that's what we need is just dedica dedicated people in our lives. When we hear you say that, it's, it sounds like it's a no-brainer, but I'm guessing that's a hard sell when you get out and try to tell people face-to-face? -face. Right. I mean, I think when we think of foster kids, um, we, sometimes, you know, this um, stigma of bad youth come sure. along with it. And I mean, honestly, foster youth, they just want to be loved, and that's the truth. I mean, they just want someone to care for them and to love them and not to give up on them. Do you have a family that loves you now, or is it just you and your sisters? No, I have such a big family. I mean, really? and they come in all colors and shapes and sizes, and it's honestly a lot of my allies and my supporters that I've gained in different places. Um, like California Youth Connection. It's yeah. an organization I got a part of, and I'm a big advocate now, so, I mean, 
Yeah. Well, you turned out great. Thanks so it's so great what you're doing. Thanks for coming in. Marcelina and Valenzuela. Yes. Right? Do you have a website or anything that you want to um, uh, promote while we're here? Yeah, um, calyouthcon.org. Okay. And the, it's a nonprofit organization led um, by current and former foster youth. Okay. And so if there's youth out there that want to advocate sure. or, you know, get involved, that's definitely All right, a All right, we'll try website. to link it up with KTLA.com. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming Thank in. Thank you. It was terrific.